Hi guys, in this video I will show you 5 tricks that could help you a lot and save your time while editing. First tip, changing mask modes with shortcuts. Once you have created a mask and then want to change mask mode from add to subtract, simply press S on your keyboard while you hold that mask. Here are mask mode shortcuts. N is for none, A is for add, S is for subtract, I is for intersect, L is for lighten, D is for darken and F is for difference. Second tip, place all layers in order in one click. If you are moving layers one by one like this, stop doing it and save your time. Select all layers, go to animation, then keyframe assistant and click on sequence layers. Click on OK and AE will do it for you. Third tip, reset transform properties by double clicking on tools. For example if you messed up with anchor point, scale, and rotation, you can reset them to default by double clicking on tools. If you double click on selection tool it will reset scale. Double click on rotation tool to reset rotation. Double click on anchor point tool to reset the anchor point. Fourth tip, looping the video. You won't believe but, you were doing loop videos wrong if you were duplicating your clip. To loop your clip and make it non-stop forever, simply right click on your video, go to time and select, enable time remapping. Now hold alt and click on time remap stopwatch icon, type here, loop out, bracket open and close. Now simply stretch your clip as much as you want and your loop is ready. Fifth tip, make motion blur more or less. For example you have made animation of a text or a logo that moves and then enabled motion blur on it and once you check it, you are not happy cause motion blur is not enough for you, to fix it really quick, go to composition and click on composition settings. Under the advanced tab, change shutter angel to the maximum if you want more of motion blur. And now it looks like I have really turned on motion blur. Hope this 5 tips and tricks were helpful, if you want more of this type of tutorials, like this video and comment, more tips and tricks, I will do my best to improve your editing. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow.